My name is Mario Barrenechea, and I'm going to demonstrate the uh, PDF interface, or pretty much streaming a PDF generated document from uh, a multi value database into a C drive, a user's drive. So the application is using the uh, PD, PDF.net or on Systex.net uh, data provider. And very simple screen, as you can see, this is an ASP.NET form. I am passing a complete path, and uh, as soon as I hit the submit button, it's going to move uh, or stream this PDF right into my C drive. I have created a directory to store it, and it's in my folder called repository. So as you can see, it's empty. I'm going to click on submit. And uh, just for demonstration purposes, I'm putting it in debug mode. In this case, it's actually making the connection to the database. That's the IP address, the port that it's listening to, the account where the actual uh, program is going to be executed, and the uh, user ID and authentication. Very simple using the connection object. And this is the actual program that is going to get executed. Is passing you know certain parameters, and this, in this case, the parameter will be the path where it has to retrieve that document from, and the data will be streamed right into my uh, repository, and the file name will be called test PDF that PDF. So I'm going to click on continue, and as soon as this is done, I should get a message that it's um, that the process is complete. Now, may, remember, this is running on debug mode, so that's why you see this little um, slight, slight delay here. So as soon as this is done, I should be able to take a look at my uh, repository. And in my repository, I will see the document, that PDF document, uh, ready for, uh, for review. It should be done any minute. Okay, great. I got the message here, and uh, here's my PDF document. I can double click on the document, and it's about three megabytes that it came through from a uh, remote directory in my multi value database. And here's the uh, SB plus PDF complete, so no problem. All right. Okay, so now let's work a little bit backwards here. And if I go to the account, the account uh, called BA, and if you look at docs, that's where the actual PDF resides. And this is the, the actual source document that was streamed right into my C drive. You know, a very, very simple uh, process. If I go into the uh, account, uh, I, can, I should be able to look at the uh, docs file. I have this directory type file, and then I can list it. And as you can see, there is my actual PDF. So assuming that the PDF is going to be generated on, on your Unidata environment, via the .NET product is a very, very uh, simple process. And I will go now and show you the actual uh, Visual Studio .NET code that made this happen. So. If we look at the um, at the code, you know, very simple. Uh, the connection object makes a connection to the um, database instance, and it's uh, in my case that's the IP address where it resides, and that is the uh, TCP IP port that it's listening to, and that is the name of the account that I use for this test. Uh, user ID and password will be the authentication that I use for this application, and the basic program that is in, that is being executed is called BA get object. In your case, it will be whatever the name of your program is. But very simple, you just pass parameters and parameters come right back. And once it gets streamed, then I am actually storing it in my C drive under the, uh, re in the repository folder. So uh, that's it. That's all it takes. Um, in order to, to enable a pdp.net or a onsystex.net account, uh, what we have to do is uh, we we call our uh, uh, tool that is called the administrator, and in the administrator we enable the account that is going to use uh, the .NET connectivity. Very simple process. 
all we really need to do is to set it up um, by by just defining what the IP address is and what is the account that we will be using. So I'm launching now the that uh, that administrator. I'm going to minimize some of this. Windows Forms, so if you can see my OAS LX EXT, if I go to the properties, then I, again, same definitions, that's the IP address, that's the, the port that we're listening to, 3469, user the password, I can click on test, it tells me that the connection is okay, and now, once it's defined, I enable the account that I'm going to be using with .NET, so if you need to enable more than one account, then I can add or remove accounts. Then you can see that it's actually listing all the different accounts that I have in my environment. In this case, BA is the one that I will be using. Once it's enabled, then I can look at the, uh, I can enable uh, different tables. For example, if I want to use any of these files in my application, I can just enable those. Once I tag them, they are ready to be used with any of the uh, .NET components that are available in the .NET product. In this case, all we need uh, for this purpose is to call this routine, the, the BA get object, and it's a basic program uh, that can be viewed with the editor. Uh, as you can see, here's the path name that gets passed in. I can use any of the commands that are available in, in, the ba in, in basic, so I, I can execute the command and then um, execute any OS functions that I that are that are required to, to to make this happen and then brings the data back as a parameter to the uh, uh, to the .NET application so that's it it's pretty simple pretty straightforward and uh, and the end result is that you can stream you know any document and they can also interact with any file uh, using any of the .NET uh, components that are available in the environment so um, I hope you like this video and if you have any questions let me know uh, here's the OnSystix uh, uh, connectivity. That's the library that, that just needs to be included. Uh, just to give you an idea of some of the functions that are available. There's the, 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 the connection database. You know, you can do transactions. You can uh, create lists, create selects, get status messages. You can do replace. Um, there are a lot of functions, equivalent functions to basic in this environment. Uh, there are uh, ways of manipulating dynamic arrays, just as, as if you were doing it in basic. Uh, functions like the count, the locate, um, equivalent functions in, in basic are also available in the, uh, on the .NET side. Uh, for example, deleting arrays, inserting arrays, and so forth. The same thing applies with anything that is related to ADO.NET. So that is all part of this uh, this product, and um, you will see that uh, all these uh, capabilities are built into into the into the uh, OnSystems.NET product, uh, dealing with the data adapter, ADO.NET, all the functionalities there. It's all documented. It's all ready to go. Uh, very easy, very simple, very straightforward, very light, um, and it should be uh, uh, very, uh, very easy for anybody to who is very familiar with the .NET environment to use our connectivity uh, tool uh, libraries, and also from um, people who are familiar with Basic, you know the the interface is very simple. It's only, you know, you're passing arguments and then you're returning values. Very straightforward. Um, very easy way to, to build forms or to read data, as you can see. And one thing that is very important is that anything that is related to locking, I mean, we it honors all the locking mechanisms. You can decide whether you want to use optimistic locking or pessimistic locking. All those capabilities are available in the .NET product. Well, that's. I hope you like this. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I will talk to you soon.